Hello, we are Team Exalters and we are going to provide you an exciting wearable solution for controlling and curtailing the hand tremor. And what we are going to give you is nothing but a glove. A pair of gloves for you to be away from the troubles that are caused by the hand tremor is a solution. Stay tuned, we are going to explain you the complete product with the fully functional working demo for you to understand what we have done. Thank you. We are going to explain you the proof of concept and the hardware setup that we have built from the scratch towards working on the Parkinson's glove. So here you can see that this is the hardware setup that we have used and each of the fingers are attached to the coin motor. This coin motor is in turn controlled by a microcontroller here and we have got a gyroscope here as well as we have got Bluetooth module here. I will explain you the functionalities of each and everything very neatly. Now see that this coin motors will generate the vibration based on your hand tremor. If your hand tremor is high, accordingly the vibration will be generated with this coin motors. If it is low, the frequency, I mean the vibration would be generated for that level of hand tremor. If the hand tremor is high, vibration would be generated accordingly. If hand tremor is low, vibration would be generated for that amount of um, tremor. So now this data, this particular data, whatever we are getting for hand tremor should be sent to the server for us to do processing. So how do we do it? Very simple. We have used the Bluetooth module here and you can see that and that Bluetooth data will be sent on to this Arduino board here through which we are sharing it to the server. In the server, we can clearly visualize all the data which are arriving which are acquired from this coin motor side from this hand side i mean the glove side with this data we can understand and we can even predict what is going to be the tremor level next using our deep learning algorithms all these setup are economically viable and technically very strong and most importantly this did not we did not spend a lot of money there in building this setup this is exactly replicating and emulating the real hand and maybe we will have to use better materials whenever we are going to implement it for the end user and we may have to customize it a little bit but now this is sufficient for us to make you understand how exactly our glove works the next part is going to be the complete demo of how this glove works perfectly stay tuned here you go with the complete working demo now what will happen is I am going to wipe, I am going to move the hand little higher and lower which means I am going to simulate the tremor. Now the moment you simulate this tremor, our system will generate the counter vibration for it so as to control the uh, tremor that is being shown in the hand, that is being triggered in the hand. Now that can be seen visually in the screen right now where the data generation happens and one could feel it when they have it in the hand and they can definitely feel the vibration out of this coin motors that is being generated. The system works this way, the coin motor generates the counter vibration which will eliminate and which will control the negative impact of the normal hand tremor and that data is sent through the bluetooth to our server and from there from the cloud we visualize this data right here on the screen one would definitely appreciate it if you have it in the hand because you can feel the vibration the moment you keep it here you can understand that there is a vibration generated in each and every coin motor and that's generated based on the original vibration original tremor that your hand gives your hand gives a fundamental tremor that tremor is observed and we generate a counter uh, vibration for it so as to keep you very comfortable and this data is what you are seeing right now on the screen it is not the hand tremor is not there absolutely now now we are showing you the data for mild tremor you can see that likewise we are capturing the real-time data and all these are very clearly done real time we hope you will understand this better and you will appreciate this better when you have it in your hand and feel the system thank you we are going to explain the uh, seasonal auto regressive integrated moving average model that we have used in the deep learning part of our system. So I am going to explain you how exactly we have worked on it. Now the first one is the collected data which is nothing but the observed data. Now we are separating or alienating the trend out of the observed data and that's the second chart that you are seeing in front of you. Then we understand the seasonal data, I mean the spikes of seasonal data for the observed data and that's also present in front of you. 
now the residual data has to be calculated because the trend and the seasonal data together has to be subtracted from the observed data for you to understand the residual data for you to make the learning and the process very smooth then with proper smoothening and with proper processing of all the observed data we are able to predict the tremor before it happens which means you can see in the screen the blue colored one are the ones which have occurred earlier and the orange colored ones are the ones which are predicted and we could predict the tremor most perfectly using this model this is very simple effective and efficient